Today's practical is uh, preparation and sterilization of liquid culture media. Now we should know what is culture media. Culture media is nothing but the artificial environment. Artificial environment in the laboratory for the growth of uh, bacteria and fungi. It is actually nutritional requirement. There are uh, different types of culture media, maybe liquid culture media, maybe solid culture media and semi-solid culture media also. High Media is a company who produce the ready-made culture media. It is actually available in the market. We can uh, purchase the culture media from the market and we can use for our ready-made purpose also. And why we, uh, we will use culture media? What is the utility of using culture media? Culture media is used for the growth and cultivation of bacteria or fungi, its isolation and identification purpose also. That's why culture media is very, very important uh, for preparation in the laboratory. Today our uh, aim is to prepare and sterilize vapor water and nutrient broth using autoclave for sterilization. So today first we will prepare peptone water, peptone water media. The composition of peptone water is peptone. The percentage is 1% WIV. Another ingredient sodium chloride, then distilled water, quantity sufficient. Then pH of the, after preparation of culture media, the peptone water, the pH of the media will be 7.2 to 7.4. This is called optimum pH. At this pH, their maximum growth will take place. So in this way, we will prepare one preparation that is peptone water media. Another media we will prepare that is also liquid media. It is nutrient broth. What is nutrient broth? The different compositions are same as peptone water media. This peptone 1% WIV, then sodium chloride 0.5% WIV, and then beef extract. Another another ingredient which is not present here that is beef extract 0.5% WIV. Then sufficient amount of water to make the volume and then pH is same, optimum pH it is maintained 7.2 to 7.4. These two medias we will prepare. This is our experiment today. Regarding the components of the liquid culture media, peptone, one of the component is peptone. Peptone is nothing but it is digestion of protein by proteolytic enzyme, it is peptone. Sodium chloride it is used to maintain the isotonicity of the solution. And the another ingredient for nutrient broth, it is beef extract. It is also proteinous component, proteinous component, and it can supply the nitrogenous compound and also the other compounds which are not uh, supplied by the peptone. For preparation of peptone water, 200 ml solution, we have to take peptone 1%, that means 2 gram for 200 ml, 2 gram peptone, this one is peptone, then uh, sodium chloride, it is required 0.5 percent, that means for 200 ml, it, that means it is required 1 gram, and then we will take, we will take it by the weight, by the balance, we will take in conical flask, then we will put in about 180, 180 ml of water. We will dissolve it, then after dissolving it, then we will uh, adjust the pH by one normal sodium hydroxide solution. We will adjust the pH at 7.2 to 7.4, then we will make up the volume by methane cylinder up to 200 ml. And then we will put it in for sterilization purpose in autoclave. And for preparation of nutrient broth, we will take just like to, for 200 ml, we will take 1% peptone that means for 200 ml it will be 2 ml the 2 gram peptone then sodium chloride sodium chloride it is 0.5% that means 1 gram sodium chloride and then beef extract it beef extract is required 0.5% that means 1 gram then we will take by the balance into a conical flask then we will make up the volume previously it will be 180 ml then we will adjust the pH 7.2 to 7.4 by the help of 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution. Then after adjusting the pH, then we will make up the volume for 200 ml by methane cylinder. After make up the volume, 
then we will uh, plug it by cotton plug and then paper wrapping then we will go for sterilization purpose. We have prepared the two solutions liquid culture media one is peptone water and another one is uh, nutrient broth after preparation and volume makeup after pH adjustment then we have cotton plug and paper wrapping. Now it is required to sterilization. For sterilization we will use autoclave. This one is autoclave it is vertical type and we will put the autoclave is in working condition already water is heated in working condition the steam is produced then we will put this material into this one cage is there inside it we will put it and then we will close the lid close the lid in this way we will close it it is just like a pressure cooker which we use for our domestic purpose then we will lock it because inside the autoclave there is huge amount of pressure will create that's why it is locked and after then when we will lock then more and more at the it is water is heated more and more water will water vapor will produced and it will remain inside the chamber and one valve is there when continue vapor will coming out then we will close the valve we will close the valve like this then vapor will produce and it will remain inside the chamber when more and more vapor will produce then excess amount of pressure will produce inside the chamber then when the pressure will indicate 15 pound per square inch pressure that means automatically the inside temperature will rise 121 degree centigrade at that at that point of time we will check our watch and from that uh, from that period of time 15 minutes are required for sterilization purpose mm. now after attaining the temperature 121 degree centigrade that means 15 pound per square inch pressure already 15 minute is over now it is completed autoclaving process is completed now we will switch off switch off the autoclave switch off now the pressure will cool down and automatically the water vapor will condensed inside the pressure inside the autoclave when the pressure will come down to zero zero level then we will open the lid open the lid and we will take out the conical flasks for further use then after cooling it at room temperature then we will keep it in refrigerator for for our uh, several purposes now autoclaving is over now we can it is uh, come down to zero, zero zero level the pressure come down to zero level then we will take take this media it is sterilized now we will keep it for room temperature to cool down the temperature when the temperature will cool down at room temperature then we will keep it in our into our refrigerator for further use